gonna show you how to auto start web server at Windows Startup, especially Windows 10 and Windows 8.1. Actually, when I try to uh, install web server on Windows 10, it was installed successfully, but I found that when I put the shortcut of the program at the startup folder, it does not auto start up like the previous versions of Windows. So uh, I check the online solutions for that and all of the solutions gives me that solution which is to uh, set the startup type for the WAMP Apache and WAMP MySQL D to automatic. That actually works but there is one little thing I miss. Actually what I have missed is this lovely tray icon which pops up with this tray handy actually handy uh, tray menu that uh, it makes me you know access most of the uh, configs for Apache and BHP and MySQL open BHP my admin those handy things actually I prefer a uh, web server better than maybe uh, you know other stacks like XAMPP on Windows uh, you can fast access to those configurations easily from this tray menu so if you follow this solution here you're gonna lose this lovely tray menu so uh, how to make it auto start really a serve if you are happy with this solution it's okay it's up to you but for me I'd like this tray menu to be with me to access everything on my server and configurations and make real start especially this uh, recent version which contains uh, handy options and uh, th those menu items which makes me you know like uh, access everything easily so uh, when I search the solution for that I found that this solution has to stop the user access control from the control panel when I go ahead to the user access control from the control panel and change this setting to never notify actually also it does not work I found it a little bit tricky but actually easy that stopping the UAC from control panel does not automatically or completely uh, stop the user access control how to stop it it's very easy you have to go to the registry of the windows actually you type break it it and go and this is the path local machine key local machine software Microsoft then We'll keep a head down for Windows current version and policies system. You'll find this key enable UA. You set it to zero and hit OK. Then it will prompt to restart the system. You restart the system and now you are completely free to go ahead to your startup folder and put the short cup of WAMP here and you are now fully auto start of WAMP server at startup and you can easily find this tray menu here with all of the options available so I hope you like this solution uh, keep in mind that disabling the user access control is not something good but it, I suppose that um, anyone use this solution knows what he's doing on his system I'm talking to uh, a developer or somebody who know what he is doing so uh, I hope you enjoy it and yeah, I hope that the next videos you would like and see you soon. Goodbye.